how do you find people on your team that have the potential of being a leader? Because if leadership is the engine that drives it all, the more leaders that you can develop inside your organization, the bigger your team's gonna be, the more impact you're gonna have around the world. Would you agree? So how do you spend the, the most efficient time helping to find people in the team that have the potential of being a leader? It's not a huge group. You're looking for three things. We talked about this yesterday. What are the three things that we're looking for in order to be able to invest our time? The three things that we're looking for, they need to be willing, they need to be coachable, and they need to be hungry. They need to be willing, coachable, hungry. And with that, I've got good news and bad news for each one of you and for everybody on your team. If you're not willing, coachable, and hungry, those three things, you cannot make big money in network marketing. It's not in the cards for you. The best you can hope for is to be a network marketing tourist. Thanks for coming to the network marketing theme park. Take some pictures, meet some friends. Go, go on all the rides. Hope you enjoy it. But eventually we know you're going home. Most people who come to Las Vegas to visit, they eventually go home, they're tourists. Most people who join your organization are tourists. And that's okay. Vegas loves its tourists and you should love your tourists too. We hope that they keep using the product. They hope when they go home, they keep using the product. They're not gonna be a permanent resident. Stop being so freaked out that the tourists inside of your group are not staying to be permanent residents because they never intended to. Let it go. They're tourists. Now, here's the good news. If you are willing, coachable, and hungry, that's all you need. You don't need anything else. You don't need talent, skill, where you live in the world, the language you speak, the color of your skin, uh, your prior experience, successes or failures. None of that matters. If you're willing, coachable, and hungry, that's all you need to literally go all the way to the top, reinvent your entire story forever. And that was the best news in the world for me when I first heard it because that's all I had. I didn't have anything else. But I was willing and I was coachable and I was hungry. That's what you're looking for. So look into your organization and find out who's willing, coachable, and hungry. And here's how you know, because they're all going to tell you that they are. We're going to know by giving them assignments. We talked about it yesterday, remember? We give them an assignment. If they don't do it, lower the assignment, lower it, lower it, lower it. If they never follow any assignments, we know they're a tourist. But if we find their level where they're willing to take action and we start increasing and we find that they're willing, coachable, and hungry, spend all the time in the world with them. But listen, if they're only two out of three and they will not be the third, you can't afford to spend any personal time with them. And some of you have been rescuing lost sheep for years and you need to stop. Let them be. If they're willing and hungry but they're not coachable, you can't afford to spend any time with them if they won't listen. If they're coachable and hungry, but they're not willing, you can't spend any time with them. If they're willing and coachable, but they're not hungry, you can't afford to spend any time with them. But if they are all three, lock them to your hip and don't let them out of your sight and pour yourself in. You wanna live forever? You wanna know how to live forever? Want to be immortal? Here's how to live forever. Network marketing allows us to do this. Here's how to live forever. Pour a little bit of yourself into someone else. Pour a little bit of yourself into somebody else and you'll live forever. And they'll do the same and they'll do the same and they'll do the same. 